Afternoon guys, uh, you may remember a few videos back I uh, got a black mamba in the Parlock area that had gone into a hollow block boundary wall. Well, the same family has phoned me again yesterday actually telling me that they've spotted another mamba hanging around that same area but they lost sight of it and didn't see it again so they said they will alert me if it did show up again and they have just phoned me to say that they've spotted it so I'm on my way and uh, the guys sent me a photograph a couple of minutes ago of the snake busy going into one of those blocks very 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 odd um, yeah that there's another mamba doing exactly the same thing and I know people watching are probably going to say, well, Jason, that's probably the same Mamba. You probably didn't release it far enough away and it's just come straight back. Well, I can assure you that is absolutely impossible. Absolutely impossible. I released that last snake probably as the crow flies, I would say about 25 kilometers away. So there's absolutely not a chance in hell that it's going to be the same snake it absolutely has to be another one and uh, I'm just hoping that it's a different size either a bigger one or a smaller one because then that will be you know quite obvious then immediately that it's not the same snake because uh, I'd hate I'd hate it to be exactly the same size and then the people are really going to think that I just released the snake kind of down the road or something <laughs> and that's definitely not the case so anyway, I'll be there in about 10 minutes. Hopefully the snake hangs around. I actually hope it goes down into the wall because uh, it'll make it nice and easy and, um, you know, he's nice and contained. He's not in the bush where he can get away. So I'll see you guys there. Amlock Drive, here we are. So we have arrived. Alright, so you say, hello, <laughs> this block here? Yeah, so we're the block here. Cool. So we went through the hole the other day. Yeah. It seemed like he couldn't get into any of the holes. So we started with washing yesterday, but today he is here. Okay. So yesterday, was he trying to get in? Yeah, he was trying to get into so the, where the, ship is where is the concrete uh, column is, lying on the floor. He okay. was trying to get in there. Okay. Um, so, so you... he couldn't, but he now got into the water. Okay, so the people blocked all these holes with, you know, rubble and that to stop this from happening. And when the snake found this hole today, they put a block in you. Or block on you, should I say. Okay. Doesn't look like there's much hole here, eh? So you say this one's a different size? Bigger or smaller? I'm glad to hear that. Because I was worried if it's exactly the same size that you guys are going to think that I just released it like down the road and it's come back. <laughs> Yeah, they're certainly fascinated by this wall. There's something here that they want. I don't know if it's food. I don't know how we're going to get this. There's a rock in here that I can't get out. Okay. 
not yet. Okay. Yeah, okay. I can see it. Is that a mamba? That doesn't look like a mamba. That. And I can only see a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of it. But that looks to me like a short snouted grass snake. I think. No, wait. It could be. <laughs> it could be a mamba. Did it look identical? It looked exactly okay. the same. Yeah. Okay, I can almost, almost see little black. Like a. Okay. Yeah, it's right. Well, probably there, I'd say. Block number one, two, three, somewhere down here. Um, okay, it might, it might be a mamba, but I don't know. Could be a short snouted grass snake as well. Well, we'll know shortly, eh? Yeah. That's a short-snouted grass snake. Unless I'm looking at another snake that's gone in here. But, what, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Because what I can see is definitely a short-snouted grass snake. Okay. At least I can use my hands now. I just want to make absolutely sure that it's not down there with the mamba. Because <laughs> that won't be that won't be fun. No. Definitely on its own there. Okay, it is safe to get the snake out by hand. They are mildly venomous. What is this phone doing? Look guys, there it is. Sticking its head out. I just stuck my hand in there a couple moments ago and my phone was busy freezing. So I was trying to get my phone right and <laughs> here's Mr. or Mrs. Snake popping its head out. Now they are mildly venomous but harmless. The bite would be harmless but they are incredibly skittish very very fast snakes they are like lightning oh, this phone's freezing again okay hey, sorry guys my phone is misbehaving but yeah it is it's a little short snout of grass snake which two minutes ago was going absolutely wild in my hand trying to get free and whipping around and now it's as calm as anything because it knows that I'm not here to hurt it. I've gained its trust, gained its confidence. And yeah, you can see why the people thought that it was a mamba. It's a very similar colored snake and similar build. But I guess only if you got really close you'd be able to see that it's got markings in that. Also looks quite similar to a female wormsling. You know, to people that don't know snakes, they very often would mis would mistake this snake for a female wormsling. It's also back fanged, just like the wormsling, but it's got a very, very, very mild venom that would have virtually no effect on a on a human being. Maybe a tiny bit of local swelling and a bit of a hot sensation around the bite side, but. That would be it. It's cool, eh? See how calm it is now. Hey, snake. Are we friends? Are we friends now? <laughs> cool. And something got hold of it here by my thumb. Let's get, see, it's got a hole. It's got a hole there, and there's a few broken ribs. So something tried to get hold of it or kill it or something. Shame. But that's not too fresh. I'd say maybe a couple days. Anyway, nevertheless, I'm sure you guys are happier to not have it wandering around you. <laughs> cool.